Sam Frank cheated on Neon. What are you doing with eight dudes by yourself? Reason Wait, eight. first off, she has a man, bro, and you have uh, pretty much a wife and two kids at home, bro. Yo, so chill out, bro. <laughs>《Welcome back to It Is What It Is》Today, episode number 70, the one after 69. That's just how we're going to introduce that's, everyone. That's like how, yeah. 75, six after. <laughs> no, no, get back because he deserves a proper one. Yo, no, 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 that was actually fire. No, yeah, we're keeping bro, it. So, this is bro, real, bro. This is real. That no one knows you're here yet. <clears throat> you're getting and your we right now. are back. <clears throat> Today's guest is a very special one, ladies and gentlemen. He is the healthiest human. <laughs> Known to man across the nation. Mm -hmm. You can probably catch him eating carrots, running a marathon, and such things of healthiness. <laughs> Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome the one, the only, Mason Health Benefits Lab. Yo, yo, that that was a legendary introduction, bro. Yo, yeah, if you like don't have a job in the UFC... In the next week, I'm gonna be disappointed. Bro, that bro. was actually the Very best intro bro, ever, dude. It's for the best ever, bro. I feel like you have to go fight somebody now. <laughs> dude, <laughs> all right, who am I fighting? Who do you want to fight? Yeah, who do you yeah, want to call fight, out bro? somebody right now, bro? Fudging Jack Doherty. Fudge that kid. Oh, <laughs> oh. we're going for the smoke again. Oh, huh? Ready? We going straight for I'm just Jack? Kidding, I'm just kidding. Are you though? I would fight him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the but fuck? for everyone at home that doesn't know Mason Lamb, this has been our OG friend since, dude. How long? Years. Years, bro. Since the beginning of the channel, almost. Dude, a little yeah, bit I after know. Rohan TV. Rohan TV introduced us to you. And at first, I'm not going to lie. I was like, dude, who's this kid? But then I was like, this kid's funny, bro. You're a funny guy. Facts. And a healthy guy. Healthy dude, bro. You're always striving for better, trying to be the best person you can be. Just in a good vibe, you know? Look at that little Dang, smile. he's already starting with the motivation shit already. It's I facts, love it. bro. It's facts. I love it, though. No, for real. Mason was before me. And when I got to meet Mason, bro... He's just really on his game. He likes to be direct forward. He speaks his mind, and uh, sometimes you need that in the group. I don't know if I'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd no, say he's always I wasn't always time. like that, though. I wasn't no. always like no. that. Bro. But the, the progression arc of Mason Lamb is, is cool to see. But some yeah. another progression arc that I <laughs> that is almost the reverse of Mason Lamb. You know, Mason was like kind of like, he was a, a little annoying at first, and then he got cool. <laughs> this guy, the guy that we're talking about now, you would even say so yourself, wouldn't you? Buddy, he just oh, said yeah, he wants no, no, to fight him. Yes. Let's talk about 100%. this trajectory arc, buddy. Buddy, last episode, we kind of went in on former roommate, former friend. Are we still friends with Jack Doherty? That's what the people are wanting to know. After last episode, comments are flooded. Are you still friends with Jack Doherty? Want to hear Rick? Are you friends with him? This is what I would say. A lot of the comments were saying, yo, you guys are saying all this. Like, You guys are probably the most reputable source because you guys, we filmed with him since we were young, I would say. <laughs> Yep. I mean, he's still young. That's, you know, but like, if you're it's the my same age, it, it's crazy. You're the same age as him, but his biggest excuse when something happens is, oh, I'm only, I'm only 19. And you're, dude, you're like the same age. Oh, no, he's 20. But I would say this, bro. After being behind the scenes, and we didn't even want to talk about this more, but like everyone wanted to know more. So you almost have to talk about it. Is that behind the scenes, everything I hear from the people that are around him and everyone who has actually spent time with him is that. The money and the fame is the only thing that he really cares about. And I think after living with him and being by him, you can kind of see that. And I'm not even talking, trying to talk down on it at all. Because whenever he would come and fly over to see us or film with us, you kind of could see that from the young age he was. Like, he would be, like, super, like, like that. And that's what kind of got him to where he is. Like, I'm not hating on him at all. He's, like, yeah. he's a smart kid. He's made a lot of money. He's making big moves. He's growing his platforms, doing all that. But I think at what expense? And I think that when you talk to him in real life, you can see that it affects his mental. And I think there's even clips of like him and his girlfriend and his girlfriend is like crying, saying like this, and he'll just be like, oh, everything's a joke. Everything's a joke. But at what point is real life real life? I just think, I don't know. It's, it's interesting to see from the outside. But are we friends? I don't know. The last time we hung out with him, I went down there and we talked to him, but... I just don't want him to go go down like a bad path because, bro, he keeps antagonizing. He's going to get – I think he's going to get – I told him this since he was young. Like, someone's going to beat his cheeks Yeah, bro, he's going to mess with day. the wrong person. Security's not going to be around or someone that just doesn't care if he has security. And karma's just going to come to get him, bro. 
But but that's the same thing that they said about Takashi Six Nine, right? And now he Jack is his character. He's he's portraying a character here. Deep inside, is he really happy? As you as you say, that's the only he knows. Only he knows. So it's like, does I, J- does Jack ride know. this wave and then tries to be a good buddy buddy fellow after this, or is it? Just he's, I'd say, yeah, he definitely he's playing a role. He's playing a character on the internet, behind the scenes. I would say he is different than mm-hmm. what he portrays online. But he knows that this is gonna get the clips. This mm. is gonna get the views. If I'm live and I say some crazy stuff to a woman, or if I if I go up and I just like clown this person and look like a fool, it's gonna go viral because of how stupid I look. Yeah. But it's gonna go viral. I'm gonna get more followers, <laughs> and then that means more people are gonna see my stuff, more money. He's going to buy another Lambo or something, yeah? You know what I really think is happening, though? You know how... I don't know if you guys have ever heard this, but, like, you know how Jim Carrey, like, uh, they, you know Jim Carrey, the actor, right? Yeah. yeah. Favorite so, actor. one of the things that, I, like, I heard, like, a long time ago is when he was acting in a movie, he would so... T- it's like, sometimes he would get lost, because there was a documentary on Netflix about him. Yeah. And it, like, told him, like, this whole story, and one of the stories was that he would act, like, in the movies, and then he would get lost, like, <laughs> still in real life, like, acting, like... Like, he would he mess it up. the movie. Yeah. <clears throat> and so what I think is happening with Jack Doherty is that he's like acting in these videos and like the viral clips and like all the cringe content because that's all that goes viral nowadays. Yeah, it's cringe content. So he's getting lost and then he's acting like that in real life and then it's causing him to like lose friendships, which obviously I don't think. I mean, I don't know if you guys are friends with him, but you're like kind of like you're like f- civil. Yeah, but, like yeah, you, you want to like want to hang out with him because he kind of acts like he does in the videos in real life now. I'd say whatever so that I, and don't I, really I kind of think that that's my perspective on it. I just think that's what's happening in his his like own life. I I think I he's think acting so. like he's like losing himself, and so he's acting like the videos in real life. Because once you method act, like there's so many actors, Jim Carrey or the guy that played Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't know if you've like heard that he played Jeffrey Dahmer, and then he he couldn't act after for like two like for two years. Really? Because he was so in the role. But I do think Jack Doherty. It's like, gotta be a weird role though. That one, like even the guy in the yeah. Joker, it messed him up too. Yeah, it messed him. Or like, yeah. because they're yeah, so in their role. A lot of people. But I, I think, think the line, the line starts getting blurred, especially when you're doing live, when you're live streaming, because it's like live streaming is like you're kind of just like doing your daily thing, yeah. but you're also live for content, trying to make everything most entertaining. And then the line starts getting blurred, and then you're just like constantly in that mode. Does yeah. he? But does I Jack Doherty do a lot of live like content like every day now? He's always filming. All on, like look how much stuff he's putting out. You know? Really. Yeah, he's yeah. putting out, like, so many reels. Yeah. He's always live. He's always doing this. Yeah. Still posting YouTube. And that's when we met him. He, Bro, I don't know how old we were, but you were probably, like, 14. He might have, or, like, 15. He might have been. 15, I think. He might have been, like, 14, and I might have been, like, 17. See, and when he came down, he would come down and kind of, like, I feel like, I don't know if I'm speaking for him, but, like, he's not here. And maybe we'll have him on one day or talk to him in person, which would be good. But I feel like he kind of looked to us as, like, kind of like brothers in a way. Because there was not many other people he always, like, would film with. He'd always want to film with us, and he'd be on his stuff. Yeah. He's, like, on his grind from he was a young sim- age. He was sure. similar to you guys, like, a couple of years ago. He was very similar to you guys. Yeah, and I think a lot of he people in the comments were like, dude, what happened? Even with all the shorts that are going viral on the podcast, yeah. they're like, dude, what happened? You guys used to be, like, best buddies, yeah. and now you're not. <laughs> I think yeah. the affiliation, right, is you guys are, in the beginning, the, the goals were the same. Let's go up. Let's go up. Mm-hmm. But now that... One is evil, one is good, or one stands for evil, one stands for good. Uh, I think, that, yeah, that's you, part of even have, why we even moved out of the house yeah. in L.A. Because if you guys don't know, me, Ricky, Jack, some other people, we all lived in a house together in L.A. But then Jack, we could kind of see, was going down a certain way. And then me and Ricky were like, uh, we don't really want to go down that way. So then we ended up parting ways. And now Jack has taken that turn, massive turn, down that road. Bro, for real. And uh, I you, think his mindset is... He knows that he's a he, he knows he's a clown, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like he knows he's getting hate everywhere he goes. In person, probably there's probably hate. People are chirping him everywhere he goes, probably. But yeah. it works but, though, because yeah. it, it gets knows. him what he wants. It gets That's him what I'm saying. He's like he's like I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get the money. Yeah. And that's kind of his mindset. But what yeah, I like, don't what I'm what I'm noticing though is like a lot of the people that do like the live shit, like the live content, the kick, the whatever it is. Like a lot of them, like if you look at all of the creators that are doing that, I feel like like the IRL content is like ruining their like their actual lives. Facts. And it's like causing so much extra stress that shouldn't even have to be there. 
Mm-hmm. Like, neon, neon talks. Like about you it. see what happens with with Neon and like the Sam thing. Like they like. Well, let's get into that. Let's yeah, get into that. Like I don't really know much about them, but I mean, I hear you guys are talking about like oh, like they're broken up and shit like that. And I see all these other content creators just their lives just seem so dis like discombobulated. But let's every, talk one more thing. Crazy. I want to say one but more yeah. thing. Crazy though. Let me say this. I didn't mean to do that, but like. No, bro, it was good. No, that was good. But just live content. The point of my my thing was just yeah. live. I want to say it's bro. crazy though, because like when they're live, everything seems good, but then. You guys don't realize behind the scenes, it's not always everything's all good. Neon's talked about it. He's like, dude, when I'm live, everything feels like I'm literally playing in a video game. I'll do whatever. I'll say whatever because he feels like he's there's a camera on him and he feels mm. like he's behind the screen, but he's like really in real life. But the camera being filmed on you, it makes it feel it changes, a certain way. Yeah. And then he says after he's done being live, like when he's like, like after the stream ends. He'll be, like, super stressed out, like, trying to plan what's next. It's not, like, always, like, everything's all good vibes. Yeah. But, like, a lot of the people watching probably, they're like, yo, I want to be a streamer these days. Yeah, I want to do so this, cool. do that. But there's there's positive and negative to both, and mm-hmm. it's oh, about yeah. finding Damn. the balance. Valid- can, validation. Can't. Validation. I feel like people do it for validation. Yeah. Attention, too. What would be really yeah, cool, bro. though, to see is, like, someone actually do IRL streaming, but, like, somehow keep it very organized and very simple to where it doesn't look like it's actually, like, a crazy <laughs> Like it's not a <laughs> it's already game. it's our the just standards real. Like, the standards are set, bro. Yeah, just no keep one, it real through your that's daily what, healthy life. But that's it's what like, it dude, that's what I, are you gonna watch? Someone? I might do that. But it's like, dude, <laughs> You're I'm not, not saying that. Maybe what? there's some people that would watch, but like, I feel like a majority of the people that are like on these platforms, like the viewers watching, they want to see that crazy mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Do they want to see me go work out and then come home and then cook some chicken on the stove and then eat it and go to bed early? No, probably not. They want to see some crazy stuff. They want to see. But a is fight there happen. any streamers doing that? That's what I'm saying. But it's I like, think you can drama, bro. There's is a, drama. IRL is drama right yeah, now. That, that is all sucks. I see. But everyone <laughs> out there is almost standing for like the bad or doing that. And I think, and this is what I'm saying. Like, if we started streaming, follow us on Kick Ireland Boys Productions. If there was a good that like called out that and like confronted it in a good way, like when Fusi went down and talked to Jack. I don't know what that was. He was like trying to be this wholesome guy, like be his friend. And then he spat on him through the water and punched him. Yeah, and it was like, all right, bro, what are you saying? Like yeah. he was like, bro, I respect you so much. And then he like did that. I, I think if someone can move calmly and like courageously and like stand on business, but also do it in like a good way, it would change the dynamic and basically make everyone like be like, yo, you can't just say stuff without having to back it up in real life. And I think that's what everyone online is doing. Mm, and I think that's so. what we realized when we moved. And that's what someone I want to talk about before we move on to the neon thing is when Nick and I were living back here, we we're just doing the same thing every day. One thing Nick and I have always done is we've tried different things. Like we moved around to the different Airbnbs. We've went to LA. we would always done that. But when you realize something isn't working, you got to adapt and change. Yeah. So when we went out there with Jack, we thought it was going to be a good thing, bro. But then once you start <gasps> actually right. living with someone, you see how they act and you see all that. And I'm not even going to say it for us too. You can see his cameraman, Zach, if you know Zach uh, Hewisman and his girlfriend, Natalie, they lived in the house. Zach used to film for Jack and then Natalie would come over all the time. Natalie Reynolds, she be, she's like big in the streaming. Like some people probably know who she is now. Yeah, she's pretty big. And she signed to his agency the, I'm not going to say it. Yeah. Because we can't say it on here. She signed to his agency. I don't know all the details, but he basically screwed her over. And then J- Natalie and Zach both don't like Jack yeah. either. So it goes to show you, bro, if everyone that is around you, everyone that you come in contact with starts not liking you, what's the problem? Is it them or is it you? Definitely. And you have to look in the mirror sometimes. And I don't think, I don't think he wants to look in the mirror. <laughs> and, when he, and when someone calls him out and says, yo, bro, like when Fousey did, he just says, yo, man, I'm 17. Or no, he used to say he's 17. He's like 20 now. But I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you right now, bro, if someone goes, like, if I went down there and we were, like, talking to him, he would be like, Ricky, you're like 24. You can't say anything. But I'm saying this right now, bro. He's the same age as Nick. And look how, like, look how different, like, paths. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's more like, he, so what I would notice about that is is that Nick is more, like, like uh, mature, like, mentally, and like, in that, like, aspect, you know? And then, like, I don't know. Jack Doherty is just It's just, like just it's, it all comes down to what you want in life, and I think he's willing to pay whatever it costs wants, yeah. to get money, and that makes him happy. He's the so it's true. like the thing is where where it's like that's where true. he like messes with people's days and like kind of like like when you're being a d- that's when it like the line is drawn for me. I'd say he's yeah. the modern day Takashi Six Nine, bro. It's more dope to see like that's what that is. I don't know. It's more dope for me to see like pranks that are like uplifting people and like you know. 
Bro, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Jack is going to post and people are still going to watch. He he knows what he's doing and it's sad that what he's doing is that's what people want to see. But that's what people want to see. And that's the sad reality of today's world. But at the end of the day, I I, we we know what we stand on and how we walk. We walk (laughs) with our faith and and we our 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 brand cannot never will be affiliated with that for that reason. But at the end of the day. To, I guess to finalize the question, if you guys are friends with Jack, on my behalf, I would like to know this: if there was ever a change in Jack's heart, and 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 what he's done so far, and his reputation now, for him to come back to the YouTube world in in the bright light, is this something that you guys would reconsider collaborating with him with? I would love to see it, bro. I would want nothing more than to see, like when someone changes for the good, bro. It's the best thing ever to see. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, why, what am I, who am I to say, like, I don't want that. Like, the, I feel like the whole reason why it's not, like, some of these clips might go viral or whatever, but it's not even for that. It's mainly, I do hope that he sees that one day, and as you grow up, as you mature, you you yeah. don't really know something until you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, ignorance is bliss. So I think he's just trying to, like, be like that. But also, like, for the kids that watch up and look up to that and think that that life mm. is mm. how they want to live because they see the cars, they see the money, they see all that. Until you actually live that life, you don't know what it is. And I'm not saying money's yeah. a bad thing. Money allows you to do so many different things. Like it's crucial. Yeah. Like it allows you to do so much. But finding that balance, and uh, I think there's so many kids that don't even know what the other side looks like. Jack Doherty's lost. That's all I can say. He's lost. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Enough with Jack Doherty. Yeah. Let's go into Jack Doherty's ex girlfriend, Sam Frank. Apparently, there has been some drama with Neon and Sam Frank. Neon and Sam Frank, they are a couple. Maybe they were a couple. Who knows if they still are. But apparently, Sam Frank cheated on Neon. Sam Frank went on a ski trip, I believe, and didn't tell Neon. And then word came out, and Neon is going through it right now, boys. A a ski trip with eight dudes? Um... Can we get some more details? Let me pull up these details real we quick. We call that a ski bus, Wait, buddy. If you, yo, that's not your girlfriend if she's not communicating with you. Just simple as that, bro. It was just, it's not your turn. It's whoever's next. Man, that's horrible. So apparently Sam that's, Frank. That's, that's, that's trash, bro. This is what I've heard. Sam Frank went on a ski trip with eight other dudes and didn't tell Neon. And then this information got leaked to Neon. And then the internet just started going crazy. Sam Frank actually put out a tweet saying this, this is getting out of hand. No one cheated. Why is everyone so thirsty for fake narrative clicks? I was back from my trip before he was even in the hospital. You guys have no idea what happened. That wasn't the timeline at all. Please stop harassing him to the point where he wants to end stream by spamming assumptions. It's a private matter. Someone went out of their way to find and leak. Yes, I accidentally leaked that, but it's not fair for you guys to twist a small part of the conversation. He didn't have to address anything, and y'all overanalyzed and dragged it as usual. I love him, and I care too much about him to let this go on. Please stop. But, I mean, I don't know. Neon's going through it. I don't know if Neon's even buying it himself oh. because Neon oh. ended stream early the other day, and he also said, I'm not streaming today because but he's probably going through it. That, first <laughs> off, what are you doing with eight dudes by yourself? One. Is, this the, is that the real true narrative? We don't know. Jack, can we get a fact check? We're getting a fact check. Apparently, she was with eight dudes on a ski trip. I mean, that's crazy math. What? Wait, wait, we always on the bus go round and round. Is she like, I don't really know. I don't know, Sam. Chugga, chugga. She could just be like one of like those. You know how you got that girl that's just like one of the homies? No, no, absolutely not. That's just a different perspective. You never know. If she's one of the girls, if she's a girl that has like, she's one of the I hang out with guy friends because they're less drama. Nope. Man, you already know. Bro, I don't care how much trust you have in a woman in today's day and age, bro. Eight dudes. You mean to tell me not one of those guys? Well, they're all probably trying to. Hit. Not one of those guys had any ill intentions with that one girl. Buddy, please. Come on. They bro. might have had the. In- I'm gonna play the both sides though. They might have had ill intentions, but at the end of the day, she went right. It's up to her whether she gave in yeah. too. 
Yeah, but putting yourself in that situation. Yeah, that's it is disrespectful, though, to... to uh, and not, no, no. Telling, yeah, crazy, and not telling your so-called boyfriend. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's, the, that's crazy, bro. That's, that's the point. That's the point. Wait, so they were dating, and she didn't even tell him that she went out there? They've been dating, apparently, for a bit now. Yeah, but that's the thing that we were ta- talking. That's the thing that we were talking about. When Jack, Do- Jack Doherty and Sam Frank were dating, the whole thing was fake. When we would go film with them, he'd be filming, and then her real boyfriend would be off camera. So this whole thing with Neon could easily be yeah. fake, bro. I think it's fake for Sam. I think it's real for Neon. And even if it is so deep into it, he dude, buddy's in love, bro. You see the way he talks about it, bro. I don't know about that guy. I don't know if he's okay. Even if it's real though, I would not like ever want my relationship or anything like all on live shit like that. You know, like all over the internet for all these people to have their comments. But that's their life, bro. That's how it goes. That's part. That's like part of the trade off. But then say say this. Say they're like, here's a million dollars. Two things. I feel yeah. Maybe. See, Here's exactly, the, it changes things. Yeah, it yeah. definitely adds, right? But quick, see how I, quick that was? me personally, I'm not trying to be a dick, but like, dude, Sam Frank is, I'm, dude, she's mid. She's <laughs> like, I'm not trying to like, I just have to say that, bro. She's so and mid. and neon and want, neon bro. and neon's handsome. What do you mean, bro? Neon's a sexy dude. Bro. I think he is, bro. Neon looks like a goof, but dude, my he's point smart as hell. My point. When he took when he took the glasses off on, he went on a date with Amber Rose. He bro. was looking sauce. When he took the glasses off, bro, he actually looked like he could. <laughs> If he was like in the gym, he like didn't try. I feel like he tries to look like a bro, nerd, bro, because it makes it so much more here, funny, bro. Here's yeah. my thing. Here's like my thing. Like a fat dude, bro. If a fat dude that was funny lost weight and he's like ripped, he'd still be funny, but like not as funny as when he was fat. That's facts. He's more relatable. Here's here's my thing. Here's my thing. If you're dating an, Bl- uh, we're gonna bleep that. Yeah, bleep that. Here's my thing. Of of yeah. Here's my thing. If you're dating someone in the of scene. Like, what are you expecting here? Like, explain to me what type of long-term relationship or what is the end goal? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Maybe she was going to film content, right? Or bro. My, it's like dating. It's like my, crazy. That's you little, don't know, bro. Though. You know what it's like? Bro, it's like you don't dating. Know. That was a content trip, bro. Bro, one million dollars was offered to him by Adam Twenty Two. It's like if you're or Adam to clap Sam's cheeks right? to have a content day. With his girlfriend is insane. It's like you're if you're a, you're a vegetarian and then you date someone that owns like a farm full of chickens and pigs and cows and all that. Like you know what you're getting into. You know what I mean. Yeah. So like yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. But I would, I would re- do it with my girl. <laughs> Fudge. Realistically, communication is very important, and uh, communication really important, bro. You had to think, right? There's no there's there's no snow in Florida. There's no snow in the east side up here. What is it? So she had to hop on a plane, contemplate, buy the ticket, get on the plane, fly, meet up with the dudes. And there's a lot of stuff behind it that she clearly mm-hmm. can't say, oh, I didn't know. I didn't think it was going to be this bad or, or or the fans are making it as it seems. But man, you did it, though. You feel me? You, you still did it. did it. What's your take, Ricky? I would say, yeah, bro. Like if they're dating and she didn't communicate, take that out. So now what, right? Because I don't know, bro. The whole thing is a, the whole thing is like a clown. He's a he's a hoss, right? Some some yeah. men some men don't let go of women like that, or they don't let go of women at all because they feel they'll never be able to find someone. You should have listened to Aiden, bro. But they'll sometimes never, sometimes you got to put your own hand on the stove. You got to touch that mm-hmm. plane yourself. You know, everyone's telling you, I agree "Oh, with that. don't don't touch the stove, don't touch the stove." But sometimes you got to re- you got to ask. You're like, "Why? Why not touch the stove? Maybe I want to touch that stove." And I sometimes. think this is. Neon touching that stove and realizing the stove was hot the whole time, bro. Yeah. You got to go through it. To you get, grow through it. Yes, exactly what I'm saying. And brother. I think Sam was going through something else. But keep going. No, no. Now, uh, you never know, though. They may have yeah, just been skiing, bro. You, they may have just been skiing. Bro, come on. All right, bro. Not in today's so society, to bro. Out out of there's no way. way. I don't really care. I'm about to I'm about to change it to a little a little positive note oh, right now. Yes. Yeah. Switching it. it a little 180 right now. Sk- this is for the fans, the ones that are dedicated to the pod that watch every single episode and I know there are some of you guys that do. You guys are absolute legends. We love you. I got to give a big time shout out to Hayden Lichtenberg. Dude, I see your comments all the time, always supporting, always repping the NCK hoodie on Instagram like this and she dropped a comment and uh, it says, Dear It Is What It Is, Ireland Boys and DJ Fab, I wanted to express my gratitude for the incredible podcasts you create. Every Thursday, your content brings me joy, joy to my day, even though I wasn't much of a podcast person before discovering your shows. Your unique style and engaging discussions have truly made me a fan. 
Thank you for the entertainment and keep up the fantastic work, boys. Let's go. Oh, Let's go. It. Thank you so much. We'd love dope. to see that. God, you know, that's what it is at the end of the day. Like something I've realized, like we, I've been going live on Instagram, follow your boy, Ricky Ireland 88. Um, <laughs> but I've been going live over there also on TikTok, Ricky Ireland. Um, but I, Nick Ireland 99. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> the boys out here plugging. Yeah, yo, but I've just been going live a little bit more, talking to you guys. And every time I join someone in the live, it's a positive interaction. It's like, oh my gosh, bro, I grew up. You like changed my mindset. You changed the way that I look at life. You did this. You did that. And I am realizing now how much of a positive impact like our videos over the years have had. Obviously, we've done some crazy, dumb stuff sometimes, some ignorant things. Mm -hmm. But overall, there's a positive, uplifting message and movement with the stuff that we put out and i'm realizing it as i talk to you guys or meet you guys in person this is a really positive community and that's rare i feel like for social mm. media a lot of social media is very toxic they want to see you do good but they also want to see you fall they want to build you up to bring you down but there's so many people that i see come back or have come back after a couple years and are saying like yo haven't watched the boys for a minute but i'm watching again or like i've been watching and keeping up with the boys i love seeing you do good because you guys have really grown up with the bud since NCK peed his pants into a professional boxer, into the podcast, into having our older brother right over here, into just like the growth and evolution of it. And you can feel the energy. You guys want to see us win. And it feels good because if we would have built it off drama, hate, and the other way, I think maybe we could, or doing fake videos, maybe we could be, have a little more subscribers, make some more money and be a little further ahead in our career. But also I think a lot of people will just want to see the downfall. And I think that's what, I appreciate that we've always kept it real. And a lot of people want to see the downfall of a lot of other people after they build them up. That's facts. Oh, that's cool. You know I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah for dude, sure. That's awesome, bro. I got to give it, I got to give it to you guys though. Before I met you guys, before we went on tour and started having concerts, my, my intentions was money. I didn't care. And then I realized that these two individuals here have a support system of the youth that want to be great, just like them. And man, you guys have changed my heart from, Starting from the beginning to being a YouTuber, like people ask me who are my favorite YouTubers. It's, it's clearly y'all too, which is insane. And then uh, I just got to end it off with the concerts, bro. The concerts, I didn't realize how much pull you guys really had and what you got. I'm talking about I see parents crying, kids coming up to you like ecstatic. And the concerts really set it off and changed my projective of life, of how... I viewed everything, so that's why I move with positivity and on bro, the platform. Speaking, speaking of concerts and the downfall of people, bro, there's a lot of people that like to hate on the people at the top. One of the biggest artists right now in the game, Taylor Swift. Oh. She's getting constant screen time in the NFL games. The Chiefs just played the other night. They won. They're going to the Super Bowl again, again. Yup, yup. And a lot of people were praying on their downfall. Yep. They said, we had enough of T-Swift. We don't want none of that. No more, bro. But, you know, she's going to be there. And um, it's crazy, bro. When you're at the top, people will be trying to hate. And uh, something that actually, there was a recent controversy with Taylor Swift. Apparently, I didn't see these pictures myself. But apparently there were some AI pictures of her just like birthday suit, everything out, you know? Dang. Huh? It was a it was T a hundred, Swift? It was it was a hundred percent. T Swift. But they were AI generated, but they were going viral on Twitter and everything, bro. Why are you looking? What, what? I don't know. All I see, dude, all I hear about Taylor Swift is her constantly just at the Chiefs, at the Chiefs, at the Chiefs. She's going crazy. And then like, people are saying that the only reason why the Chiefs are winning is because T-Swift's there, you know? So to get like the ratings up? You think it's yeah. right? And it's get, dude, the ratings I, are higher dude, than they've ever I been. I purely think, and then, dude, even at the Super Bowl, bro, she's about to be at the Super Bowl, I guarantee you all the eyes are going to be on her. And it's it's going like, to be massive it's just bringing, Super Bowl. It's just, I don't know, bro. It's just Usher, Usher performs a cover it's of Taylor all Swift. all for the, I don't know. <laughs> the halftime performance I, is just her reaction to the halftime performance. It's got to be somewhat of a rig. I do don't you think know. so? Or do you think they're paying him that much to do that? Or do you think maybe it's just two people that actually like each other and they happen no. to meet each other? I think love. they genuinely like they like each other, but it just happens to so be that the, the Chiefs are winning, though. Are you, <laughs> saying, are you saying the NFL's rigged? Dude, no. Could never be rigged. I don't know. It sounds never be like rigged. Saying this may be rigged, but I don't know. I, I the NFL's rigged. I don't like it. Honestly. But how would they... I'm not going to lie. They'd be missing some calls. They'd be oh, missing bro. calls when they look. need to, and they'd be making the right calls yeah. when they need to, too. Like, you can go back in history and actually see, like, how how bad it is, but... 
There's by every. That's the thing with the human world. We could have robots making all these calls and it all be perfect, but humans have bias. Inherently, yep. we have bias. There's human bias, human error. You know? Say Nick walks on the street and there's a girl that he, you know, everyone has. Let's be honest. If some people have their type, right? Say Nick has his type and he sees her exactly right by. And there's another girl that is not his type, but walks by. Who's he going up to? His the type. girl that's his type. Mm -hmm. So the so the refs, you know. Crazy comparison. That's a crazy comparison. I'm just saying, inherently, humans have bias. Bro. Maybe the ref's wife is a big Swifty, and he's like, and then you no, know, you know who he has, knows that his wife is going to be watching know. Super Bowl, and then hey, sees her on the screen. And or maybe the NFL ratings are so high that they're making tens of millions of dollars more. So if they keep the Chiefs in, they make way more money. Dude, yeah, that know, might be a little bit more believable. This might be a little off topic, but it's about football, bro. Because I, dude, I just love to see that kid Brock Purdy. Like winning, like I don't know. Do you guys know anything about Brock Purdy? Yeah, uh, he's a pretty bro. Apparently, young he's like one of the un most underpaid athletes in the NFL mm -hmm. right now. And dude is like, he's like twenty four, twenty five years old, and he's leading. Like he just came out of nowhere. He didn't even forty really niners. Yeah, he yeah. didn't even get like drafted. He's in the Super really. Bowl. He didn't. He get was like third string quarterback, bro. And yeah. he just he beat Tom Brady and the Bucks like two years ago, mm -hmm. and then he led him last year, and then lost, and then he's leading him this year all the way to the Super Bowl again. Shout but out! They, they I'm, made I'm, it the I'm rooting for that kid just because of the story, bro. The story is amazing, bro. Yeah, you have to, you have to look I don't want to see the Chiefs win again, bro. What do you mean you don't want to see the Chiefs Damn, win bro, again? You be hating on people's downfall when they're at the top, bro. Crazy. No, bro, they had crazy, their time. Bro. I want to see the. New What's up, then? What's up, then, bro? What's up? You know I'm ready to bet because I'm Chief Nation all Dude. day. All right, let's bet. Let's bet. You want to bet? bet? I let Nick decide our bet decide right now. Decide the bet right now. What? Decide what? what? I'm not. No. Put something on the line. Put something on the line. All right, bet. Uh, what? You have to come in a Taylor Swift. If if okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You gotta wear a blonde wig. On, on the, the next, next pod, blonde okay. wig with lipsticks, and you have to come in and and sit and like, int and we get to introduce you. Gotta you perform like you gotta right. perform a song. Bad, like, bad, bad. Get a loser, song. loser has to come in like Taylor Swift on the next pod. Okay, loser. Next, next pod. Someone we were after the Super Bowl. After the Super yes. Bowl, right? When we will after the Super Bowl. Oh, after the Super Bowl, November. Uh, so February eleventh. If the Chiefs <laughs> win, then I am. And if the 49ers win, you are. No. And and keep this in mind. I just want to remind you. Last time we made a live bet. He. Uh, we also said that he. You had to call me daddy. Bro, if uh, I got you remember receipts, this? yeah, I remember got receipts. Team? I do remember that. I, Last time we made a bet on here, DJ Fab lost the bet, and the bet was to call the other person daddy for the whole next podcast. DJ Fab didn't call Ricky daddy. You never did. I you did call did. you daddy. I don't even want. I don't even want it anymore. It sounds weird to me. Yeah, bro. bro I, it's kind of weird that you want him to call you daddy. Honestly, that's weird, bro. Right? That's weird, bro. Know. You Anyways, really trying to get back to, to the NFL? To bring it back, bro, bro. back to the NFL, back bro. To the Me NFL. and Ricky always love like even if we're watching like boxing or UFC, we're always rooting for the underdog and just like the the pure story, you know, bro. Yeah, well, bro. You're gonna like, hate. You're gonna hate. You're gonna hate. Honestly, I would bro, love to see. I would love to see Brock Purdy win, dude. I would like to see him win too. Yep. All all three of y'all against me. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not against you, bro. But like, yeah. Honestly, bro, and honestly, I'm gonna say this. Shout out to today's video sponsor. We actually got a sponsor for this podcast. No way, really. Yes, yes bro. Nice. It's been a minute. But it is the Sleeper app. It's a betting app where you can bet the over or under on a specific player. And honestly, I'm taking the over on Brock Purdy because I think he's going to go crazy. I'm going to take over it. on Brock Purdy and Debo Samuel. I'm making George my Kittle. bets right Boom. now. But let, no one, you're going to lose. You always lose. Mm -hmm. yeah, don't so bet on what DJ. Whatever he does, do the opposite. Lose. But yo, go to sleeper.com. The top link in the description. Deposit ten dollars and you get a massive bonus. Code IBP. Code IBP. I'm pretty sure if you use the top link in the description, though, it automatically puts the code in. So just click that link, download Sleeper, use code IBP, deposit ten dollars. You know, and if you deposit however much you deposit up to a hundred dollars, it'll literally mm -hmm. double. You put fifty dollars in there, it'll give you another fifty to play with. So you'll have a hundred in your account. I have Patrick Mahomes dropping a thousand yards. Okay, you're gonna lose. And I'm putting a hundred dollars on it right now. Buddy, what are the odds on that? Just know I'm leaving with a million, buddy. Bro, stop, bro. Stop, bro. Wait, and then you said you match IBP? All right, I'm a putting, million dollars, buddy. Code IBP. He's, he's lying, bro. He's, I all right, all these people, P. please don't listen to him. Don't listen. Right. This is not financial advice from DJ Fab. Yep. Honestly, I'm I'm not even kidding. Damn. Debo Samuel over. And uh, Brock Purdy over. Yeah, no, I bro. think they're gonna go crazy. Yeah. No, my personal thought, dude. I'm betting, Debo I'm betting Samuel, on that, bro. Debo Samuel in right now, and Brock Purdy. I already put mine in. I'm getting a million dollars, boys. Bro, Let's go. And Brandon Ayuk, maybe. Fab's maybe cat, Brandon Ayuk. Guys, you know what's actually wild is that the NFL hired a specific cameraman 
to actually record only Taylor Swift at every game. Wait, what? Are you serious? And that person is making $1,000 every game. It is insane. Imagine being hired to only film Taylor Swift at a real? football is that game. real? Bro, insane. That's yeah, insane. Sign me uh, up. Imagine. It's, yeah, she brings purely in for way like more the than $1,000. Like, it's purely for the, like, the timeouts because whenever they like have a timeout or something, they're always like... You know, you also, film her ass, bro. You also know what it's for? It's because all the boys or all the boyfriends that be going watching the games, now the girls want to watch too. Because they don't good. know nothing that about football. That is true. That is true. She should be getting a percentage, honestly. Can't like, cap. the girls be going, bro. The girls, I was watching the game, and you see more, yeah. like, out there than ever. You do see a lot more girlfriends, like, and, watching football and, like, actually going to the games. And Kelsey's jersey, his stock went out the roof. Oh, bro, I'm pretty sure, yeah. like, tripled or more than that. Yeah. Tripled imagine out, yeah. imagine a, a, a Chiefs jersey with 89, but on the back, instead of it say Kelsey, it says Swift, legendary. Buddy, that's going He's insane. actually 87, but yeah. 87? Yeah. He's 87. Oh, yeah. you know, I know my team really well. I was just testing you guys. Oh, okay. Ooh. If the NFL released like a custom Swift jersey, oh bro, or instead of uh, mm. or Travis Kelsey, they put uh they put a T Swift's boyfriend on the back, eighty seven. She probably sold at least a couple thousand jerseys, bro. easy. If you're in that, oh man. And speaking of a couple thousand, a couple thousand people were caught playing an epic game of hide and seek at IKEA. A Facebook group. Met up over three thousand people met at the oh, same IKEA at what? the same time. That. No way! No yes, bro. way, bro! What? They Ikea? all went in there, hide and seek in IKEA, and they all ran in there, started playing. The cops got called. The cops couldn't find everyone because everyone was hiding, though. No, no yes. way, bro! It was an insane game. Did anyone get arrested? I don't know if anyone got arrested, but I'll tell you this: they were eating them Swedish meatballs, buddy. Oh, uh, was yeah. there a cash prize or anything like that? I don't know, but like, imagine 3, that thousand people playing hide and seek in IKEA is crazy. I think we bro. should set that up, bro, and do bro, and do and beat it three thousand to one. Wait, why don't you do it like you know how you do like the overnight challenge, like the twenty four hour overnight like like uh, season? Yeah, yeah. You could do the hide and epic like crazy hide and seek season. Yo, low key. But you go bro, do the I keep scores. Like big warehouses. You could go to that big gym, you know, with Alex. Mason. Yeah. Oh. Oh my oh, god. You guys might have just witnessed a, a live action live idea. idea. Oh my gosh. You guys remember the last time we had an idea? It was uh, spending the night in tow truck and it came to fruition. That video did good. You guys loved it. This might be a whole epic thing. Ooh. But then instead wait, and then I'm going to add to it. Wait. Ooh, then it gets a little juicy right Director here. Mason. You know how Mr. Beast gets like a bunch of fans and like for every video? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bro, you start getting fans and then these fam these fans end up becoming your characters and then you end up using because you know how like someone will do like really well in like a uh in like a Mr. Beast video? Yeah. yeah. And they'll kind of become like a character for a couple more videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Arax Boy. Um yeah. so you could do that with some of your fans and shit like that and create like almost like little mini characters within like the seasons. You know? That would be kind of cool. dope. And to keep score Bro. on the season, like say yeah. whoa and then intro all right, let's do a practice. <clears throat> this is fun. <clears throat> Welcome to the well, let's come up with a name. All right, give me the give we me might the, not get the, it. The hide and seek. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, let's come up with a name. Like maybe hide and seek. Welcome back. Welcome back to the hide and seek. The hide and seek games. Oh, we'll have to come up with this. <clears> we'll come up with something. <laughs> but like, uh, just, I'm, just I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. And I'm then try. also, like, the say it's, it's almost a, like the Hunger Games. Yeah. Like, like a crazy name like that, but like and so then, simple. And then say it's like a ten game season. Mm -hmm. Over the over the course of the next two months, we will be playing hide and seek in a different arena every month, starting with IKEA doom. and ending with Mount Everest. Doom, 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 doom. But I, you could plan it to where you can like like have like a massive space, you know? Yeah, like yeah. you know you how go like, to a different location every time. Plan like these overnight places. The rules are simple. Each contestant will be hiding. But throughout the game, every hour it will be a challenge, and then you. Have All to right, complete. introduce it. Welcome. Oh my God, we have to plan that, bro. <laughs> it goes like this. Yeah. Welcome back to the hide and seek games, where four contestants travel across the country to hide, so they don't have to do the loser dare. And we got you as the moderator because you lose every time. So. Oh, buddy, make sure he's in this. <laughs> Professional narrator. Make sure he's in this. Professional, dude. That's your job. Look, you just got it. I told you earlier you were gonna get a UFC job or some sort of announcing job. It basically, what's you my just salary? Got it by the what's end of my the salary? Plot. What's my salary? We'll, I didn't we'll see talk it. later. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Business guy, right there. We'll talk later. <clears throat> That's classic. You've been on your business stuff. Hide and seek in Mount Everest would no. go crazy. What the heck? But I do want to add to what you, I don't know if we're still going, but I do want to add. Bro, to, we're still going. To what earlier, do you mean? Bro, we were talking about that, we were bro. talking about the motivational <laughs> with with Ricky and how you've changed a little bit and you've been yeah. changing people's like lives and and stuff. 
It sounds very cringe, but it's actually crazy, bro, because he's actually, like, he's made you a better person, you know, like, doing the videos. Like, bro, I probably wouldn't even be doing what I'm doing, like, knocking doors as a career if I wouldn't have done the podcast because I tried solar, like, two years ago. I sucked. And then ended up, like, doing a bunch of videos and, like, podcasts and, like, learning how to have a conversation and, like, be more of a people person because you're constantly asking questions on the podcast. Mm. Yeah. Like, we're constantly just have to flow and you have to flow. So then it made me a better person on the doors and then it just made me f***ing successful doing that. So then now, boom, 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 boom. Here we go. So, so I just wanted to say thank you, bro. Appreciate so you. Ricky, you need 10%. Nick, too. Nick, too. Nick's a legend. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thanks, bro. No, bro. It's, just had to it's, add. it's dope to see you doing, like, the you're, like, out there grinding and yeah. doing your thing now. It's good to see oh, the people man. around you do good. That's that's you know? what it is. But you, then also, bro, another thing. I don't know. Do you guys follow that Kenny Brooks guy? I don't know who that is. I don't is. know who that is. He's, like, the guy on TikTok that, like, kind of, like, he'll go up to, like, famous people and, like, make, like, classic jokes of, um... Like, I'll oh, be in and out of your hair in, like, stuff. shampoo, like, 30 oh, seconds. Oh, he'll be like, yo, I'm up in here like Michael Jackson, and I already know I keep it clean like I'm on waxing. Not, like, I can't do it like him, but he'd be rhyming and, like, selling, like, he could sell a pen. Yeah. Like, he's like, you already know? Do you like chickens? Because I like hens. You need this pen. Way better. He's way better than that. But, like. I, I, I'm, where's the pen? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, but I, I kind of want to start doing that. Oh, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, wait, yeah. So, basically, <laughs> he was, dude, my mind's, like, racing right now. It's okay. Now. Entrepreneur. Right caffeine. There. But no, so basically, I was listening to this crazy story the other day. How he was talking about how he like knocks a door out of like nowhere, and then like the lady was like screaming like "Get the f off my lawn!" Like we're not interested, we're not buying it. Blah 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 blah, mm-hmm. and like starts screaming at him. And then he like cracks one of his jokes, you know, mm-hmm. and then gets her laughing, and then like a tear starts falling from her eye, and he's like, "Holy crap! Like what's wrong? Like what's going on?" And then he bring she brings him into the house, and then there's a gun like laying on the table, and. He, like, cracks a joke about being black because he's black. And he's like, oh, shit, like, not the brown guy today. Blah, 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 blah. Like, some joke. He's a funny guy. And then makes her laugh. And she was like, she's like, no, like, that's not what it was for. Like, I don't think you understand. Like, you, like, absolutely changed my life because I was about to kill myself before I, like, got you at my door. Whoa. Because her son just passed away in, like, a car accident. And she was, like, very upset and stuff like that. But, no, I don't know. Wow. But, yeah, I just wanted to share that story because it was kind of dope because it brings me back to... Like, dude, you guys don't understand, like, the pranks. Like, doing funny pranks, not, like, Jack Doherty type of shit, but doing funny pranks, you never know what someone's going through in their actual Ooh. day, and you might end up changing their life and something that they might actually want to do, or you never know. Facts. So, yeah. Dang. Just something to add Dang, to the podcast. Dang, bro, that's crazy. we've been talking about a lot of random stuff. What a story. But I just wanted to add some actual, some value. You know? no, that was good. That's good. That's it. Yeah, man. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you never know how a random it's encounter. Be nice it's to good, people, bro. It, 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 you never know. Everyone, yeah, everyone's nice. going through something. Just make a you know? shirt. Yeah, especially yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We, some people are good at putting masks on. Like I, uh, yeah. Jim Carrey. Yeah, yeah. You never, never know. Yeah, bro. But you realize as you grow up that everyone's going through something, and everyone has their own like intentions and mm-hmm. what they want. And you can, if you do, if you're a young person. And this is what I would do when I was younger. It, I, I would always, I feel like I always hung around like older people, like men, yeah, older women. Yeah. Like just because like I feel like I related a little more. But also, if you listen to older people that are wise or are in positions that you like, and you just listen, you can learn so much because there's nothing that you can do that can fast forward you through time besides actually living it. And older people have already gone through it. Yeah. So like, if you mix, no, dude, that's facts though. Because one thing, Ricky, I have noticed this like recently. Whenever I'm around Ricky, Ricky will always like, act, like we'll be in like the sauna, and he'll see like some like old guy like looks successful or something. You never know. Ricky will always ask like, "Yo, man, like, what if you had one piece of advice to talk to your like 20 year old self? Like, what would you like want to tell me?" Yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Ricky or I'll be in the it has to be. We'll be in the elevator or it some shit, and Ricky will be like, "Yo, like, what's a piece of advice that would like help me?" Yeah. Because either it's, you it's can, great. T- I love it. And you can learn from people because sometimes people will tell you like, I'm so glad that I did this or I started this early or I did this early or I'm, yeah. or some people will say, man, I wish I wouldn't have done this. So, so you can see how like some people look at their life. And also when you're in a group of people, whether you're friends or like a group of people that you just met, like the other day I was hanging out with people that I've haven't hung out before and I wasn't really talking. And most of the time, if I'm with my friends, I'm like always like hype and stuff. I was just kind of sitting there. And you can kind of see what people care about, specifically about what they talk about. Because people want to talk oh, yeah. about what they care about. Facts. Yeah. So everyone has different like you, intentions and agendas. But yeah. yeah. Definitely. It's definitely, bro. Yeah. Damn, I don't even know what I was going to say, but yeah. That's it. Surround <laughs> yourselves with I'll the greats.
And then if you if you combine an old person's wisdom and your knowledge that you've gained through the process, peanut butter jelly, baby. Yeah, but and now you have to go through it to go through it. So, so yes, like you yeah. can learn all this, but like sometimes you got to make the mistakes and like, like neon. Man. And that is why I'm gonna shoot my shot at Taylor Swift. No. She has a man, man. Man. So in soccer, there's Just a goalie. No, there's a reason. Wait, hey. First off, she has a man, and bro, and you have uh, pretty much a wife and two kids at home, bro. Yo, so chill you're out, bro. Crazy. I believe, chill out, bro. Yo, listen, honestly, chill out, bro. Damn. honestly, chill out, bro. quick question, quick chill question. Out, this is crazy. Uh, ch- ch- send this there to your girlfriend. Yo, 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 yo. Wife, question, question, question. This chill is out, this is actually wild. Yeah, nine one one. He's right here. <laughs> what if you're dating somebody and then they cheat on you with a celebrity? Do you leave or do you go? Bro, the you think, who it bro, is. like the celebrity hall what? pass type thing. Edge. Yeah, yeah. Do they get a celebrity hall pass? Uh, bro, my girl's not getting no celebrity hall pass because this, bro. Like because the you're space, a celebrity. The space that we're in, bro, it's like they might, we might end up meeting that person, bro. And I don't want to think of my girl wanting to clap that dude's cheeks. So that's if bro. you ask and if you communicate. So Nick, so Nick, I maybe, gotta, but probably. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, you're crazy. Yo. Bro. Wait, <laughs> nah, bro. Even this in general, like, no, it's just weird, bro. No, so Nick, so Nick, if your girlfriend, Honestly, that's like the biggest. So Nick, if your girlfriend asks you if she can't clap Drake, would you allow that? Bro, she ain't my girlfriend if she's asking me that, bro. Honestly, would you take like her a, back? Though? What's that J Cole no, line, bro? bro? Something about Michael B Jordan, but my girl wouldn't let him hit. Something like that. No, because so that means so no, 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 no. I would, line, no, I would not, because that just means she has lost respect for herself. Dude, I say, and for you. But what if she's at a concert and Drake's like, yo, ma, what's good? Okay, then go and stay. Then go and stay. So you don't take her back? No, bro. Go and stay. Do you? Bro, bro? my girlfriend knows I have the biggest crush on Beyonce. And if Beyonce is ever there. But you're going. Bro, she has Jay-Z. You're going for the married, bro. You're literally creating yeah, this but toxic what, cycle. But what, if this, what if, but what if Beyonce, what if Jay-Z was cool with Beyonce Clapping DJ Fab. Fine, then if I guess if all of you guys agree, then go ahead and do your thing. Honestly, it's all about communication. There's people we have an open relationship and stuff. I, so yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, we do, it's not an open relationship. Pass, it's just a celebrity pass. Like, you wouldn't cheat on your girl with Beyonce? I'm not really into Beyonce, bro. Okay, well, who's your celebrity crush? Hey, hello now. Who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> Man, bro. Sydney cool. Sweeney. That's who he likes, I know. I, I think Sydney Sweeney's overrated. She's Megan Fox? Megan Fox? Oh, she's pretty trash. Okay, okay, so hear me out. You're in a relationship. You're in a three year relationship, right? Three year relationship, and but you I d- wouldn't want to bring it up and even try to jeopardize the relationship if I really care. But Megan yeah, Fox, bro. Megan Fox comes up to you and she's like, "Hi, NCK. I want you now." Damn. Two options. I have to get blessed real quick. My point. You see what I'm bro. playing, bro? No, that's cap. Depends how much I love my girl, bro. If it's like serious. Three years, you don't love her by then. Well, that's what I'm saying, I, dude. I probably would, I'm not gonna do that, bro. Cause my girl, bro. Man, it's not. A yeah, because think about that. Right? Then every time, say he goes out, and then and then your girl goes to Drake. Every and you're a DJ. Every time you play a Drake song, oh. yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> I ain't playing no Drake music. You if, can't though. He's the goat. Nope, I ain't playing not one exactly, Drake song, bro. Exactly. Anything that reminds you, it's just like it will ruin the vibes. Like yeah. I've heard other friends, like I've heard other friends in other relationships where they've been with a girl that has such a crush on like a celebrity. That it like turns them off because every time anything happens, it's like, oh, okay, bro. It is weird, bro. Yeah. Like if you you ever be watching a movie with a girl, bro, and, and it's not about insecurity, they say, it's just so, about they say something about the actor, bro, and like, oh, why he's so hot? It's like it fudges it because he's, right, he's the main character. He takes off his shirt middle of the in the movie. You're like, oh, bro. You take and then you're just like, go, all right, time to go Fudge. to bed. I think that what? happened to me last night. I was watching. <laughs> no! I was, no, no, no. I was watching a movie. And I was watching a movie with Taylor, and she was. And I don't know who it was. I forgot who it was because I was so freaking tired, bro. Because I woke up at like three a.m. to travel. But anyways, watching a movie, and she's like, "Oh my god, she's so he's so hot." Oh, like oh, bro. If it, I were to say that, you'd freak out. Bro, it's not no, bad. I'm, if I'm like, just kidding. I'm just. It's kidding. not bad if you guys can both see like someone and be like, "Yo, they're both attractive." Yeah. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you can tell. But, so yeah, more, bro. more of my. Question. But like that, when it's like, "Oh my gosh, the things Freaking, I would do." Yeah, it's oh like, "Oh my oh, gosh, chill, Mark bro. Wahlberg, yeah, yeah. dude. Mark Wahlberg is sexy." So, like, ba- so basically, none of you guys are taking any of your girls back if they were to cheat on you with a celebrity. So disrespect. Probably not, bro. Like, how would you live with that? Like, dang, bro, Drake took. Nick's chick. If if Nick was in a re- this is how it'll go down. If Nick was in a relationship with a girl that he really liked, then he found out that she cheated on with a Drake. I'm telling you, Nick's dropping the craziest albums ever and blowing up. It's not even funny. It's not funny, bro. Yeah, and I believe you. I believe it's you. not funny. Drake clap my girl. Like, Speaking of clapping, it's not funny, bro. Speaking of clapping, 
When the airplane lands, and if you're on a plane with a bunch of white people, you know that thing's about to get bumping. All right. <clears throat> Speaking of clapping, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for DJ Fabuloso's Fun Fact of the Week. I miss He's this. having a th- week. I'm just kidding. Guys. Did you know if your girl likes Drake, you should... <laughs> Speaking of Drake, Drake's about to come to Tampa, so. Did you guys get tickets? Yo. No, no but and I'm just happy saying, make sure you watch your girl, bro. Oh, yeah, facts. Watch your girl, bro. And yeah. J. Cole, too. And hey. you know, he still got some love. Hey, guess time. what? Guess what? And, never mind. No boys are signing him. So am I. Anyways, guys, speaking of clapping, it is time for DJ Drake, Fabuloso's. Yeah, probably. Wait, hold up. Before you get into this fun fact, what if your girl, what if your girl goes and claps Drake? I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably going to drop the, the, the You're Drake. probably going to clap, clap her. With no. Drake. No, I'm not. Old old DJ Fab would gone and got revenge. I would probably would try to clap her mom or some old revenge. Whoa! What? I would have I done. Dude, you got to leave, bro. But that's old Fab. I, new Fab, new Fab would have just said this into my mind and wrote it in a song. I said, yo, that was never my girl. It was just my turn. That's not, I, So you wouldn't take her back? No, I would have. But you expect her to take her back after you clap Beyonce. Let's hear that from my <laughs> Hey. Double standard. You know how the game goes. That's really how it goes. It is. All righty. Speaking of clapping, it's time for DJ Fabuloso's fun fact of the week. 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 Did you know when a male honeybee reaches an orgasm, his testicles explode <laughs> and his penis? <laughs> <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. Let me finish. Let me finish again. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't finish, bro. Let me finish. <laughs> whoa. It says, uh, fun fact. When a male honeybee reaches orgasm, his testicles explode and his penis gets ripped off. Meaning that one they, their honeybees are one and done. So they got to choose one properly. Man, if they do that, they're done. If they sting, they die. Just Wait, so the, being a honeybee. the moment they pipe, <laughs> they die? The moment that they hit them with the... So they're going to have that discipline? Yeah, they got... Dude, yo, what's the average fine. life expectancy of a honeybee? I don't know. One one minute? <laughs> what if they keep so much retention, though, from not doing it that their balls just end up exploding and then they die that way? I don't know. I didn't retention, even know. I didn't bro. even know bees had balls, bro. <laughs> <For> like, <laughs> I didn't bro. know that. How tiny are they? Yo, I did, yo. Yo, yo, bro, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Yo, we got to make this a short. We have to make this a short. Like, that segment, the first yeah. one of you and then you laughing and then going back and forth, I had to say that. You can cut me saying that or yeah. you, you keep it, keep it. Keep well, that, I, I kind of read it. I knew. That is a banger short. That's like, yo. And yeah. keep us laughing and even yeah. the back and forth and continue right now. And then what? And then his balls are so tiny. <laughs> and then the penis falls off. Like, that's when they is die. Isn't his stinger the same thing? The stinger and the PP are there's two, two. No, di- there's two different things, bro. Two things, bro. It's, it's like the stinger and then under it is like. What do you know is the full anatomy? <laughs> Wait. Of me, huh? yeah. If the stinger and then this is under it and then he goes for it. Like, where does this go? How does this go? If bro, this to me, it's actually wild that bees can clap another female honeybee. Like, it's just insane. And do they do it while they're flying? Uh, probably not. They do it on I the don't flower. Know. All I know, romance of the listen, flower. all I know is yeah, that... fire, bro. Um, Yo, say that again, bro. Yo. I don't think he heard. <laughs> they do it on the flower with the romance, you know? While it's kind pollinate. of like a vibe while they're just piping in the pollen. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, like... <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Oh, free. But here's my oh. thing. Here's my thing. It says when oh, yeah. the male honeybee reaches an orgasm, the testicles explode. Yeah, we heard you the first time. I'm just wait. Look up if if they keep so much retention and they're just dialed. What if their nuts just get so inflamed? Well, here you we go. They're doing no fat. Let you me think go. They're doing no fat. Let me go ahead and explain. Let me go explain. Let me see. If you're not in, listen from exploding testicles to post. Oh wait, 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 wait. It says uh, the male honeybee is an example of an animal that does not believe in Valentine's Day. His penis is doomed to be ripped from his body along with his intestines, meaning that he will die. So he, he must, dies after clapping. He dies right after during mating. During mating flights, Sacrifice. several male bees. They call it droning when multiple. Ma- so during the mating. Like, yo, yo, buddy's at a loss for I'm just, right I'm now. just I cannot you, you believe cannot this fact. Right I cannot believe this fact. Here we go. It says during the mating flight, several male bees, it is called droning when multiple male bees are going out <laughs> to go get some of that. Mm hmm. Some of <laughs> right? cheeks. Should they go die though, for real? Wait, Most, so seven with one? With one? Damn, imagine, no, bro. You it gotta, says, it better be good. It bro. says <laughs> some will be selected from thousands of others in the colony. 
Some will not. <laughs> even bees will fight to even get the chance to clap the queen bee. <laughs> no. Multiple will fight will try to clap the queen so bee. So how do they determine it? trying to clap queen bee? Do yeah. they take uh, the biggest bee, like with the biggest, you know? Like, whoever whoever who queen, gets to clap who, the queen? Whoever makes it, they fight. It's, it's, but they're literally using their stinger, and if they use their stinger, they die. This is actually very interesting, bro. It's like the Wait, anatomy of a bee. I have a question. So does every bee have daddy issues? Because as soon as they birth, their dad's not there. So they never have a father. Oh, man. Damn. Think about it. It's like NBA young boy. Oh, my God, boys. It says, though how crazy and bizarre this is. The are we from Are we from Shakespeare yo, time? Yo, it says though the bee has another <laughs> stinger, he will never sting another. Wait, as crazy as this is, the bees will explode and die, but the stinger will remain in the queen bee, stopping another male from mating with her. So if you if you get an opportunity <laughs> to clap the queen, buddy, just know you are in there for a while. So for how long? It says it says until the queen bee decides to st- push the stinger. Out. So she could pop it right out. After. She could pop it right out. So depending on more. what mood she's in, if she wasn't enjoying that sting, then uh, if she's in that repopulation mood, you never know. Might be quick. That is actually wow. And these fun and that's DJ Fab's fun fact of the week. Wow, that was a great fun fact, a very fun one. Imagine, fun imagine if we did that. Imagine how how humans. Like, <laughs> like, buddy, you had one opportunity, one chance to literally blow. And uh, if you blow the wrong one, you die. It's your ball. Well, either, either way, you die, which is the crazy thing. Well, no, what if it was like that in humans, though? You blow the wrong one. You blow the, you blow the wrong load and you die. That's, <laughs> and your pee-pee fell off. And then if you, to find out who you marry, you have to, you know, and if you don't die, then that's the one. Well, you're going to no matter what. Because if, if someone attacks your family, you've got to sting them to protect. And if you want to have a family, you have to, you have to sing. <laughs> wasps. I feel like wasps got to figure it out. They can wasps probably, are just savages. They're it's like, like bees, Johnny but that can keep wa- stinging them. The yeah. yeah. They evolved. Yeah, they're like, dude, I want to clap more than once. I want to sting more than once. It's Evolution. Like, I think, yeah. uh, well, yeah. Queen, Queen Bee, wasp. Beyonce. That's why DJ Fabulous Queen Bee. I'm ready to say. <laughs> DJ wants oh, to dude, Queen you Bee. worked that whole time just to hit that line. You're yes. Menace, <laughs> you worked that whole time just to hit that line. Can't cap. <clears throat> DJ Fab's a menace to society, so uh, be careful out there, folks. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Unless your name's Queen Bee, then y- yeah. you, know, you never know. that. Queen Bee. But, man, yo, what a great time with the boys, oh man. Just love hanging with the boys. God. Drop some W's in the chat for Mason Lamb. Mason Lamb, do you, you have anything to tell the people right now, man? Yeah, can we get a health a health <clears throat> fact of the day, you know? Like a real health fact. Like, give me a real healthy fact that won't kill you. I'm not going to give you a healthy fact, but just f- stay dialed. Stay dialed in a nice Ooh, routine. Stay mm. dialed. No, keep just going. Elaborate. Ni- just find a nice routine that works well for you and consistent, consistently stay at that every single day. Mm. Just do. Just do more. Ooh, great words of wisdom. Do Kept it more. simple. Do more. Think less. But think less. And do the right things, not the wrong things. Oh, yes. Sir. Wow, Dr. man. Dr. Words Lamb. of wisdom Dr. Lamb. from Very Docky. Simple. We love you guys. Yo, honestly, if you guys enjoyed this episode, drop a comment down below. We're, we're reading them more, and I, I, we love the positivity. So if you made it to the end, you're an absolute legend. Literally, if you made it to the end, Drop a little, what emoji should they drop at the end of their comment? Like, comment whatever you want, and then drop a little emoji at the a end. A penguin, a penguin. A penguin. So that's how we know you're at the end. Drop we, a big piece of broccoli for me. A All penguin right. and a broccoli. Yeah. Bro- penguin and broccoli. We love you guys. And until next time. It is. <clears throat> it is what it is. And it do what it is. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, oh you already know what that one is. Oh, give me a word, give me a word, give me a word. B. Jackson Mahomes. Jack, 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 Simmons. Oh, oh, oh. Jack, 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 Simmons. Oh, oh, oh. Prr, 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 prr.